Today we're looking at the Clifton Sport from British brand Bruder and stick around as I take this watch on the London Dangleway in my usual walk around town towards the end of this review. It's great to have you here. But before we go any further, here's a quick look at the spec. Hello and welcome to another review. Now today I'm looking at the Clifton Sport from British brand Bruder and this is the grey version on silicon strap. Now Bruder is a German word for brother and it's actually three brothers who founded the company whose roots are from the city of Bristol in the southwest of England. Now if you're not familiar with Bristol, it's a city straddling the River Avon and has, has a prosperous maritime history and is well known for its Isambard Kingdom Brunel's iconic suspension bridge and also for its colourful homes of Clifton Wood Crescent in the upmarket area of Clifton which is where this watch got its name from. But before I carry on any further I just want to say my usual thanks to everybody who's watching. I really really appreciate it and you can further support this channel with a like, a comment and a subscribe. Now an uber quick wrist check and today I'm wearing the deep blue master 1000 divers watch with this fantastic red abalone dial. Now isn't that just fantastic? Back to the Clifton Sport and spec wise, as shown in my vid just now, this measures in a 42mm diameter at the case. Now I measure it in at 49mm lug to lug, 20mm at the lug with the silicon strap tapering down to a touch below 18mm at the unsigned vertically brushed buckle. I also measure it in at 9.5mm thick. Now on the wrist, I think it wears pretty well and certainly feels very comfortable. Now yeah, I am left handed for those of you who don't know so do wear my watches on my right wrist. So here's some shots of the Clifton Sport on my left wrist. Now I personally think the Clifton Sport's dimensions make this sit fairly nicely on my 7.5 inch wrists. It doesn't feel too bulky nor does it weigh my arm down, coming in at a very lightweight 82 grams. Don't be fooled though with this bezel, it's certainly not a diver's watch nor should it be considered a diver's watch. Not only does the Clifton Sport have a mere 50 meter of water resistance, this bezel does not rotate. So I'll say a mere 50 meter of water resistance but actually for what this is designed to do then 50 meters is perfectly fine. For me it's not over complicated in its design. The case is 316L grade stainless steel, vertically brushed here on the sides including the crown guard with polished chamfered edges from the lug to the bezel and for me that's a really nice touch. The crown by the way I measure in at 5.6mm, it isn't signatured but does have circular grain brushing. The bezel edge is smooth and polished and the case back is screwed down again brushed but with circular grain and the Bruder logo embossed with some other spec also embossed around the case back circumference. The dial is a sunray grey dial and that sunray really does catch the light nicely and is a darker shade of grey to that of the lighter grey in the bezel and the chapter ring both of which by the way sport minute markers. 
the bezel with numerals every 10 minutes with the exception at 12 o'clock and the chapter ring every 5 minutes with the exception at 3, 6, 9 and 12 o'clock with the bezel and the dial having inverted triangles at 12 o'clock. The dial is complemented by white batten markers each with polished steel effect on the perimeter of each marker. Same goes with the date window here at 3 p.m. Now it all sits underneath this flat K1 mineral crystal glass. The movement is a Swiss Ronda 515 movement, quartz, pros of which is that it's a very affordable movement and replacements are easy to find, but cons is that you just need to be extra careful when changing the battery as the coil is right next to the battery clamp, so one foul move and your movement is a goner. Now that movement powers these three hands, baton style, hour and minute, again with white and steel, and this, and I have to say, almost show stealing red second feature hand. Now I love that, but my OCD kicks in big time when the second hand doesn't quite hit the second markers with exact precision, but I've learned to channel those inner OCD feelings and focus more on important things in life like friends, family, football, or if I just don't stare at it, I'm fine. On a serious note, it's worth noting that Bruder haven't forgotten their corporate social responsibilities with a sustainability pledge of planting one tree for every single watch sold and they've partnered with non-profit initiative Just One Tree to help administer that and their link is in the description. Back on the wrist and this colorway in particular is one I really like but blue is also available as are various strap combinations. Now things I like, it's uber comfortable and very lightweight. I love that sunray dial and that red second hand. And things I don't like, there is that very micro misalignment of the second hand hitting the second markers, but I have to say I may have just got a bit unlucky with this one. Now Bruder very rarely sell this at full price and even now December 2022 are offering it out at $220, 179 British pounds and about 200 euros so that makes the proposition a little bit more appealing but at the end of the day a watch is only worth what you're willing to pay for it. Overall it's a nice watch, one that's grown on me somewhat and dare I say one that I'd consider as a beta in my watch collection and I say that with the utmost respect to the Bruder guys. They do claim themselves that their builds are robust and able to stand up to the rigour of everyday life. And I've actually worn it more than I thought I would. Standing in front of my watch collection every time I get ready for work in the morning or even before I go out or before I run, it's quite an easy pickup for me and wraps itself around my wrist actually rather nicely. part of our branding efforts. Which that is cool. Do you reckon?